All right, welcome to another episode of Barber Buzz Talk. I'm gonna let my man introduce yourself, introduce yourself man. I'm Adonis Del Rosa. All right, tell me what you do. Uh, I play uh, professional basketball uh, overseas. All right. Uh, yes. Cool. So he's a basketball player, you know what I'm saying? He's seen some things. And I also make music, I'm an artist. Right? Oh. So if you, uh, plug your stuff, plug your Instagram and all that real quick. Uh, my Instagram is uh, Boogie Zoo, B-O-O-G-I-E underscore Zoo. Uh, yeah, you can get me on all platforms right there, buddy. Oh, man. All right. So we're going to talk. We gonna, you know, Barber Bus Talk is a very interesting show. And you don't know. You're just now hearing about it today, huh? Yeah, 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 man. Uh, I was interested when I heard about it. So he just got on on the, on the whim. Yeah. Got on the show. You know, he, he, he blessed us with his presence. Now, I'm going to ask him a question. We're going to talk about a subject. I want you to just give me your honest opinion what you think about the subject. What do you feel about... Men and women, it's not just men or just women. Men and women, when it comes to, prior, to, to their priorities, when it comes to, to having kids these days. To having kids? Uh, well, it, it depends because uh, it, a, lot of, a lot of things factor into that as far as age. I feel like uh, girls in, 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 in the younger age group, uh, even though some of them fall into having kids, I think a lot of them don't even want kids anymore because they understand the, uh, the values of just being independent right mm -hmm. now. And, uh, you think some of them have kids and still try to get independence even though course, they have them already? Of course, but sometimes for a lot of those females, it takes them to have a kid for them to start their independence. When a lot mm -hmm. of these females now, again, with the with the way things are trending, everybody's like coming up business minded. So I would say like the younger age group, they not trying to, they trying to get like some money right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to get into that business world aspect, so they lashes and, <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, they're not trying to get pregnant. But what if they what if they do? I let me ask it like this. Let me ask it like this. Uh, Priorities, right? Right. You already got a kid. These girls, you know, they they getting these these you know expensive hair styles and getting their nails done, but their kids looking raggedy. How you feel about that? Oh no, that's that's disrespectful right there. I don't. That I don't. I don't condone any of that just because I know uh, if, like, the kids' kids clothes is way cheaper than yours. Hmm. How about they that? Their hands is way cheaper than yours, so if you can't keep them straight, let alone you walking around with $300 hair on, nah, I, I can't. Clean is clean. I don't care if it's name brand or not. You're keeping it thick? Clean is clean. Keeping that thick or knock it down some? Uh, you can knock it down the side of it. Just the side? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. So I'm going to give you an example of what happened to me, okay? So I had a young lady uh, inquire about a haircut for her two sons, okay? Yeah. I, I'm assuming she's a single mom. She might not be. I'm assuming, though, mm -hmm. the, or else the guy probably be the one hit me up. Mm -hmm. So she asked me for this haircut, and she's like, um, you know how much you charge? I said $30 a cut, you know, for kids. That's what I charge for kids. Right. She's like, uh, oh, that's too expensive. That's, I can't afford that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, it's not for everybody. Experience isn't for everybody. And she kind of gave me a hard time about my price, right? Mm -hmm. So I decided to do a little investigation. Okay. The person who actually referred me to her let me know that this woman actually not only is she, you know, she has an OnlyFans page. You know what that is, right? Mm -hmm. Only so she get a couple fans. dollars. And on top of that, like, I looked on her page and she got all these, like, designer stuff on. She get her hair done. Like, you could tell she get her hair done quite often. You know, for a female, that costs, like, three, four hundred dollars, maybe more. Right. Just for the hair. Right, them lace fronts expensive. Right, but you can't pay thirty or sixty bucks for two of your kids to get haircut like once a month. Oh no, nah, that's hard. That's whack. Yeah. And guess I found out that you know one of her kids is actually special needs, so she yeah. can really use my services. Yeah. So my whole thing is like, where are the priorities at? That's my whole point. My point of bringing that situation up is, where are their priorities at? Yeah. You know nowadays, like uh, when it and, comes and, to having kids. And what's the age? What, what's her age? You like? Is she around our age? She she might be about like twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah, that's that's tough right there. Like, again, like I said, uh, these girls right now, around around 26, 27, they they trying to get that money, right? Like Twenty that, the, that new money actually, that twenty year old to to, to thirty they in that range where they could become bosses, and that's what these these um like the influencers that they listen to and like reach out to, that's what they're doing. So that's who they listening to, and. They just want to live that independent life for real. Why aren't they taking care of their kids, though? You taking care of yourself. I mean, they kids. I, I feel said. like I feel like they feel like they could make it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? 
So also they they trying to rest in their grind. Uh, do I condone it? No. Is it wrong? One hundred percent. But, uh, Don't you think that if a woman could keep herself up, that her ch children should come first? Of course. I'm gonna go, I'm go to the men now. I already I, 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 I clown the women. Let me clown the men for a minute. Right. <laughs> now you got men, right? Mm -hmm. They got kids. You know, a lot of them got numerous kids, right? Oh, yeah. To different women. It's, it's a different ball game. Now, I know a lot of guys like to smoke weed. Nothing wrong with smoking weed. I don't smoke it, but hey, I'm not gonna knock nobody. Right. But if, you spend a, if you're spending 30 bucks every day on an AFI, why can't you get your your, your kids right? Oh, oh you no, know? these these men are more even more disgusting now. They're so bad, man. It's bad. so bad, bro. It's bad because, uh, like you said, they can't. Some of these dudes don't even got thirty in a gas tank. Mm. Yes, they got. They, they, they got thirty they got weed smoke. though. I they, can't. <laughs> like me, and, I can't correlate. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just doesn't make sense. And uh, I can't, I, man. I'd never be that dude. Can you only imagine, like, growing up in a household like that where I'm seeing, like, think about it, kids aren't dumb. Yeah. They see mommy going to get her hair done, talking about how much she spends on her hair. You know, they see mommy getting this done, mommy getting that done, dad doing this, dad doing that. But I'm not getting nothing. No, you didn't, they didn't ask to be in this world. Right? <laughs> they didn't ask for it. They asked to be in this world, bro. And again, like, if you, if you wasn't all the way Ready for, to do that, shouldn't, have shouldn't have had them. Shouldn't I'm not saying abort them. I'm saying you shouldn't have been going laying down to have them. Go Use protection. Them. Get some birth control. For sure. Oh, what do you think about that? Now, that's another subject, right? Well, I had a discussion with a female friend of mine, and she was. Just, we were talking about how it's so easy not to get pregnant nowadays because there's so many different contraceptives. There's so many different ways, you know, to protect yourselves. Like, what, what do you think about that? Like women that just keep having kids and. They don't have to have kids, bro. Like Planned Parenthood, that's like free, bro. You can go in there and yeah, that's free. But get free birth control, like and free condoms. Like why not? Like right, right. What's the and big? It's crazy because like then that you say that, I feel like it's it's a it's like it's a double standard on that. Mm. Just because of the fact that some like the government, as a as a as a community, as a black community, they don't want us to keep reproducing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's and, true. Um, you only see places like that playing Parenthood and stuff like that in, in the hood, in rural areas or or, or, or impoverished neighborhoods. You know, suburban. What I'm saying? It is suburban. Like, you don't see them suburbs. You don't see them in the suburbs. Right, and even those suburban kids come to our neighborhoods to go to Planned Parenthood. You know what I'm saying? It's true. So <laughs> they don't got them in in the, in the nice neighborhoods because they don't, they ain't trying to encourage them to get abortions and all that goofy Man. stuff. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I never thought about that. I'm yeah, glad you brought why, that up. Why would they? Why would they encourage them to get abortions if, if, if their race is um, I mean, yeah, their race is already lacking reproduction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nobody's catching on. Wow, I didn't even think about that, bro. I think about a lot of stuff. Like I'm really like around. I'm woke. You know, what I'm saying? I know what's going on. But that's one subject that no one what really is, talks about. What is woke? Let's talk about that woke subject. Woke. Oh man, woke means you understand what's really going on. Right. That you're not sleep to the to the facts. 100%. You know, and, and here's the thing, man, like a lot of people just listen to this news, man. They listen to the to the people that are on the on the news and on the media and even like people that are in uh we call that um in, in in the industry. They're listening to these people. And these people are all part of that scheme. And it's like there's so much stuff you can research now because of how how the internet's set up. If you just take the time to look and research and do your research, you'll learn a lot of stuff about what's really going on. What's really going on. And what, what Corona really is. And, and not, and not, not and all that stuff. The, not even to, like, not even like Corona. It's bigger than Corona. Oh my God, it's been starting. It started way before that. Man. It's way before that. This is, this is old. And people are still out here just living their regular day-to-day -day lives thinking that nothing's going on and they, they're okay with being who they are. Right. They're complacent where they at. I uh, said this a long time ago, right? I told people, like, um, I was in prison. We were doing this group or whatever. And these dudes were just complaining, complaining about the system, complaining, 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 right? right. And I said, the one quote I said, and I'll never forget where I said this, and it made people think. I said, don't hate the game. Learn it. Right. Learn it. Learn the system. Learn what's going on. Learn learn why, why you know... You're in a position you're in today because once I learned the system, I stopped going to jail. I started making money. I started being successful, and because they they make us believe we can't be. Right, and 
this is what happens with a lot of people. A lot of people don't know their origin. Mm, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Of all races, don't even of know their origin. Races. As far as origin, I'm saying they don't know when, who they are. They don't know who their parents are, their family mm. is. They don't know what's theirs, what's not theirs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For instance, um, I, me, myself, I have, I have family members that's from other countries. You know what I'm saying? And right. I'm not really in tune with my mom or my dad's side of the family, being that I'm coming from the Bronx. Uh, we're, we're, I'm a first generation uh, American. You know what I'm saying? Right. And... I don't really communicate with the people back in those countries because I don't know them. Mm. And then our family isn't too big, so the people for me to communicate would be a direct source, like one aunt or a cousin or something. You know right. what I'm saying? So now I get to speaking to my mom, and I'm asking her about uh, you know her background and who she is and stuff like that. And then I, I get to speaking about my grandmother, and now I understand my like that that my grandmother was born in 1926 and she she was married to a european dude and this that so now i'm thinking about it like okay 1926 with the research that i know and me going to school i got a master's degree i'm not i'm i'm not oblivious to a lot of the stuff that's going on because i'm not it's just common sense you know what i'm saying all right 1926 you married to a european my mom's your Dad's European. My grandmother's from the Netherlands. My mom was born in the Dominican Republic. Mm. Makes sense? So lineage, right? Lineage we're of talking course. about. Now, how does lineage play into this whole cultural disruption as far as our, you know, our people? Because a lot of these people don't know who they are as far as what they're chasing. They might already have in their lineage. Mm. Um, yet nobody's coming to claim it. Mm. That's deep. That's real deep. Got me speechless, man. First time I got speechless on this show. But now, <laughs> it's true, though. And you know what? I like to think about, you know, when it comes as it relates to getting to know who you are, where you come from, um, where we come from now, and where, and where our kids are going to come from is, is important to me because I feel like we're setting an example for them and for the generations to come. So if we're making our priorities... You know, bling and and having getting like I know people that got PUA checks that bought chains. You never heard about them checks that's going around in PUA no, checks. No, what's that? It's exactly, because you're you're not you, you don't need one, so that's good. But a PUA check is like they're they were giving out kind of like a large stimulus unemployment check to people that weren't working because of the COVID, and they were big checks. They're like maybe like ten thousand, eighteen. I know people that got eighteen thousand dollars lump sums, right? Wow. But these people, yeah, wow, right? That was pretty cool. Yeah. But what did they do with them? They were buying jewelry, man. They were going buying designer clothing. They were they were buying the Jordans. They were buying everything but the things that they really needed and that their children and their families needed. Wow. And, and I only know a few people out of all the people. Like they may lie to me because they know they know how tight time I'm on. But I know I got clients. I know that they didn't have no jewelry before the before COVID. Now these dudes got these big old chains on and gold chains and and grills and all this. I'm like, man. In my head, I'm thinking like, you guys are fools because. All you're doing is what they wanted you to do. The government knew what they was doing, but they gave you know black people money because they're like, okay, we'll give the impoverished people money, and they're so dumb that they're gonna go straight and put it right back into our economy, and we're gonna be good because the people that sell the stuff that we buy don't right. look like us. Right. You feel 100%. me? 100%. You know, yeah. So let me get on there, free. Yep. So like. So now, sorry, not that you're gonna cut you off. No, no, go ahead. Lose thought. Think about this. You just went and spent eighteen thousand on the chain. Mm hmm Shut up. You got nowhere to live. Half these dudes don't have a place to live, bro. Or a car to drive. You just spent eighteen thousand on the chain, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't even uh put that put that chain down as a as an asset. It's not because it depreciates as soon as you put it on your neck. You know what I'm saying? Gold is like, oh man, if you try to sell that gold to somebody who buys gold, if it they're not gonna give you the value. If it for ain't it. solid gold, it's not getting off. Exactly. It's not 24K, it's not getting off. Back to priority, right? If it has diamonds in it and you put some diamonds on there and you thought, yeah, it costs more, no, it costs less. Now you depreciate it because you took chips of di of gold out of there to put them diamonds and stones in there. Bro. So now you depreciate it. Back to priority, right? You know back, back on the subject. Back on priority, right? Now we think about we think about people, you know, spending that money the wrong way. The first thing I think people should have done 
will say, okay, I got this check. I'm good. Let me put that in the bank. Let me go get a job. You know, let me so I can stack this money and add to it and then maybe have something in the future. Here's the thing, right? My girl, right? This is what she does for a living. She gets people jobs for a living. This is what she does. Mm -hmm. Good job. You know, I mean, not for me and you, like, obviously, but right. for, for the average person, it's a good job. People go in there, they'll work for a day, they'll work for a week, and then they'll stop working. People aren't look, People will uh, inquire about it, and they won't follow through. My whole thing is people don't want to work anymore. That's the thing. People don't want to work. They don't want an honest day's work no more. Mm -hmm. People want the riches without without the work. There's no such thing. Like even you, you play yeah. ball, right? Yeah. What are you required to do in order to play ball? You got to work. No, 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 what are the specific, what are some specific requirements that you must oh, do? You have to wake up at 4 in the morning. Boom. You have to, you go to the gym from 4 to 9 in the a.m. From 4 to 9 in the a.m. Mm -hmm. You probably leave there for like an hour and 30. You probably go grab a smoothie or something. Nothing, nothing too heavy because you got to go back to the gym from noon to 4, noon to 3. And all, the whole time you're working out. These are all gym sessions, but you're working out the whole time from noon to 3. Then from... From five to, to to eight, you in there watching film, watching, doing something that has something to do with basketball. Right. Yeah, I'm doing all of that to perform on this stage, not for the money. I don't. The money's not what I'm after. Right. I'm I'm chasing greatness for myself. So mm. if I'm working on myself as the asset, like that, like if I'm putting in eighteen thousand in myself. In my body is because I'm gonna eat great nutrition, get the greatest um, workout partner. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's my work. That's my field. Right. You're taking eighteen thousand and putting it on the chain with no money to get back out of it, it's not an asset. It's a liability because it's you're expense. Not, the, the money's not flowing in the right direction. Right. You know what I'm saying? You wasted eight. If I waste eighteen thousand, I want a million back. I don't want. To have to go get that eighteen thousand again, or have something that could depreciate, or somebody could just come and take the whole thing from me, and me have nothing. That's throwing all your eggs in one basket. Mm. Throw all your eggs in one basket. But here's the thing, right? And that's why I, that's why I'm like want the viewers to understand, and a lot of people to understand is that um, why are, who, who are you really trying to impress with that with that those chains? Because at the end of the day. Anybody that you're trying to impress probably got less money than you do in the first place. Yeah. So why are you trying? You trying to impress broke people? Because rich people don't care about that kind of stuff. At all. Rich people don't care about a chain. I mean, most of them don't even have a chain. No. They have assets. They have credit. They have um, homes. They have properties. They have you know uh, things that mean uh, artwork. They have you know what I'm saying. They create something. Solid passive, gold. Passive solid income. silver bricks. Right. Like I invest in silver. Right. I, I, I ain't up to the level of gold yet. Yeah. Silver. Uh, but I do got zero. I, I buy silver. Bricks of silver. Bricks of silver. And that's the thing. Like, people don't understand the priorities are messed up. But going back, backtracking to what we were talking about as far as families is concerned, that's what these kids are seeing. They're seeing that they're not a priority. They're seeing what their priorities are. So when they become older and have kids of their own, their priorities are going to be even, le even less than their parents. Even less. Even less. So if, if they, they might not even feed their kids. No. You can't, you, you can't keep your kids' hygiene right. You can't make sure they got haircuts and stuff like that or have their hair twisted up. But you got yours done. Your kids, not, they might not even feed their kids. They might not have, man, they might not even wash their kids, man. Oh, for what? And look what you're teaching them. That's all I'm trying to come out and, 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 and show why priorities. Should, why should they? And, They're not and, being taught to. And that's another thing. A lot of these kids don't have priorities. And as far as priorities, your priori you, you don't necessarily got to want to be rich. Mm-mm. You don't necessarily got to want to be anything. Nope. But anything that you do, you will be great at that. There it is. You know what I'm saying? There it is. No matter no matter what it is. So if you decide that you wanted to be a junkie, bro, and do all the baddest drugs and the worst big baddest drugs out there, bro, junkies do drugs to the best of their ability. That's what they did. They do. If you, if you, <laughs> they if you, do. <laughs> if you put that junky energy into something else, you'll be rich. Bro, not to cut you off. Check you this out. You made a good point because I know um, junkies, or you call mm -hmm. them, or ass, whatever you want to call them, that will spend a thousand dollars a day on their habit. On their habit. Think about what that means. That means these people make a thousand dollars some way, somehow, every single day. If you put that same mentality, I put that same mentality into what I do. That's the kind of money I make. But I put that same mentality into something legal, that same grind and hustle. Because me being successful is my high. It's the same thing. And then, and then it's like, boom, dudes, dudes going out there to hustle. Bro, what are you hustling? 
Right. Pencil in a nickel bag, bro. For a nickel bag, for $5? And for then $5? how much time you going to get for that? Bro, for $5, <laughs> I can go work out every kid on my block. Mm. And tell their parents, oh, I ain't about nothing. Just give me $5 for, for, for some waters, for some bottle of water. Right. Bottom line, bro. You go, that, that, and guess what? You made more money than, than selling them nicks. I know a kid that stands outside and sells waters, bro. Mm -hmm. And that kid's probably doing really well, and he's out there every day. That's the biggest, that's a good one. I don't know who taught him or who raised him, but whoever did it did a good job. That's a great hustle. Real, man, I know in bigger cities, they really, really do it. It's really hot out. Oh, man, yeah, they kill I'm it. From, I'm from New York City. Oh, you know they do it. And, and like the, where they're coming in, and, and like the bridge. Everybody has they, 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 they born hustle. That's it. Right. Because it, it ain't no... It ain't no, oh, yeah, I'm going to just work here. No, you can't work there. You got to start your own hustle. If you got people selling empanadas on the street. Oh, yeah? Homemade lemonade. On the street. Yeah, on the street. That's dope. On the, in, the, in the Walmart cart. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He's from the Bronx, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know they hustle hard there. Come on, man. It's, it's different. If you're going to get rich, you're going to get rich by any means. But anyway, it's a million ways to get rich, you know? There's just as many ways to get rich as there is to die. <laughs> Real oh tough. God. If you, I remember Cameron said this. You probably remember it, but it's off like one of his, like one of his albums. He said, "If you can't get rich in the earth this big, you worthless kid. You don't deserve to live." Wow, profound. Because we're living in the richest country ever in the history of the world. And that was Cam. And we can't. Cameron said that. Yep. Wow, that's if, crazy. If you can't get rich here, man, you can't get rich nowhere. Nowhere. Because this is where all the money's at. It's here. It's here. But in mind. reality, you want to know why those... The, yeah, it's fire. I know it's fire for sure. You already know. You ain't got to look, do you? Yeah, no. <laughs> I know it's fire. See and, that, yo? And it's crazy because if you go to these other countries, look at them. Let me hit this real quick with the razor. All right, go. You good. I got my man. He's from Bangladesh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He got people in, in all parts of the world, but he's originally from Bangladesh. So now, um, his I think his grandmother lives in Saudi Arabia, something like that. Okay. Right. He told me that the that the money currency over there they get paid in dinars. You okay. Know what I'm saying dinars is a hundred times, like probably like four times, not a hundred times, but a hundred times better than a dollar, but four times more than a dollar. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? So for every dollar we get four dollars. Oh wow. My man. He said we live out here in drapings. Why? Because everybody knows like flashing money ain't it. Flashing jewels ain't it. Just making yourself a walking target. Yep. You're a walking target. You think you're a target here in America, you really be a target in one of them spots. Man. Huh? Man. They coming to get that. Man, you don't know what hungry is till you over there. But one thing I learned though too is like, like I'm looking for a, a luxury vehicle because I, I I deserve it. Mm -hmm. You know I'm looking for one right now. But I drive around my buses all the time, bro. Like yeah. that's not glamorous, but you know what? I love it because it's it's making me money and it's making me successful. And I don't need to be like impressing people. Yo, I don't I care about I that. Love, I love the bus, but I won't leave here if this is my bus. Why? Because like I could chill with here. That's I true. Can ride around in here. Do anything I can watch in here. TV in here. Yeah, you can do anything in here. Music in here. Cut my hair in here. Where am I going? You can, you, you can smash it here. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to get in the shower. And that's it. And that's it. And and, and be careful because I got a gym. So if I'm in the gym, I'm taking a shower in the gym and I'm good. Yeah, you good. I, I mean, that's what I do. I wake up in the morning, go to the gym, and shower in the gym. You know what I'm and, get, and I cut hair right in the parking lot in the gym. That's I got my clients saying. waiting for me. That's it. Yeah, man. What gym is that? I go playing. Look how tall this dude is. They can't stand up in the bus. That's crazy. Seven one, guys. Seven four one. Don't get it twisted. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for being on the show, man. Appreciate you. Catch you next time. Hey, yo, I'm gonna have to send. You have to send me a number.